Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Mikey. First off, I apologize if my eye looks all red and irritated. That's thanks to my cat. Got home, had some packages in the mail. One of them was an envelope sitting on the doorstep. Went to pick it up. Cat decided she was going to play with it. I yanked it away from her and the corner of the freaking envelope jabbed me right in the eye. Yeah, stupid animal. Um, I went digging through all my hats. I got got totes of hats I sell on eBay. I knew I had a couple of tobacco ones in there, but I wasn't sure which tote they were in. Finally found them. I have a U.S. Smokeless Tobacco Company hat. I think it's brand new. I'm keeping it. <clears throat> I also found a vintage skull hat in the pile. Old style with the foam all the way around it. Made in Korea. Doesn't say north or south, just says made in Korea. Yeah, and this was made by Yupong. I would wear this one, but A, it's a little dirty, and B, it has a slight odor of weed on it. Yeah, so I'm just going to put this one over here for now. I will wash that one up later. Um, I got a new spittoon. New spittoon. Um, I saw this. And I just instinctively went, oh, that's cool. Buy it now. So, yeah. <clears throat> I warn you now, if you don't like Donald Trump, personally, I wish there was a better candidate. but He's the one we got, so that's the one I'm going to vote for. Um, but if you don't like Donald Trump, close your eyes. Put your things in your home real loud for a few seconds, okay? It's the iconic... Dodge a bullet, Donald Trump. Spittoon. Spitbud makes these. So, and I'm beginning to think Spitbud either bought the patent or they are the, I'm a more remorphing of the Snuff Buddy spittoon. Because the Snuff Buddy has the door to put your can in. Well, they have something similar down here. And it's supposed to be a band cutter in here somewhere, but I don't know where or how it is or how it works. Oh, there it is. It's just a little notch, plastic notchy thingy they got there. Anyway, this is from Spitbud. Um, one thing I do like about it, the lid comes off a lot easier than the, the mud jugs. But that can also be a bad thing. I'm not sure yet. So, seems to go back on pretty good. But yeah, I saw the one with the iconic bloodied Trump. He is one lucky SOB. Yeah. Another half second, he would have been... And this would be a completely different election cycle. Anyway, since I'm wearing U.S. smokeless tobacco hat, I figured I'd go with a U.S. smokeless tobacco product. I was going to do... U.S. Snuff Company products. I got several of them here that I need to go through. <coughs> but I'm going to do U.S. Smokeless because I'm wearing the hat. Yeah, why not? <clears throat> and this is one I've been wanting to try for a while. It is Copenhagen Black. They're Wayman's Reserve. Or Wayman's? Yeah, Wayman's Reserve. I guess this one's got notes of um, uh, bourbon in it. So we shall see in a moment. Uh, let me test this, this little, yeah, it kind of works, kind of, it has difficulty where the label doubles over, went right through it, eh, yeah. might have been faster using my fingers, anyway. There's the obligatory money shot, showing you some cut. It looks like Copenhagen, they call it long cut, but it looks like a mid cut to me. Their long isn't really that long. Ooh. Show you what we got inside. It does have a nice aroma to it. I, yeah, notes of bourbon or whiskey. Not sure which. 
that's definitely got that bourbon-esque aroma on it, which is something I enjoy. So let me, I mean, moisture level's decent. Ooh, stuff doesn't want to pinch very well. First pinch is always the hardest. Try not to spill too much on the floor while you're filling it. After that, you get some room in the can and you can move my fat little fingers around. Ooh, that's a bit more than I'm used to, but let's go for it. Yeah, it's moist. I guess this used to be a limited release. They did resurrect every couple of years. I guess it's become a permanent thing. Um, some of the newer cans I see, it's just an all black. Instead of being silver with the black here, it's all black. And then just like Copenhagen black and stuff. I'll cover his face for you non-Trump fans, okay? I love y'all. We're all Americans. Unless you're watching from another country, then you're all whatever country you're from. Good flavor. Some salt. Tastes like it's a natural that has been given like a light bourbon topping. Yeah, it's definitely got natural notes to it. This one's different. I like it. Kind of reminds me of the um, uh, extra long cut natural in the salt content. It's juicing up quite nicely. Definitely getting the bourbonish notes. It's not real strong, but it's you know a little dance going on in there. The salt, the tobacco, the bourbon flavoring. Or it might just be a straight whiskey. Who knows? Yeah, this spittoon's nice. It's, it's got a deeper um, uh, funnel than the roadies. Which, even though it's a taller cup, the deeper funnel means it probably holds just about as much. It's just a longer vessel. Getting a little bit more of the bourbon notes now. It's still on the salty side. But yeah. Yeah, I was kind of stoked to find this hat. Didn't realize I'd had it until I saw it. I'd seen it, you know, I first picked it up months ago. I've been sitting in the totes ever since, waiting to get processed. And look at that. Even the hat is made in the USA. You don't see too much of that anymore. <clears throat> Most hats are made in China or Vietnam, Bangladesh, pick your country. Find one that's made in America. Especially this one, it looks a little more modern. Yeah, I'm liking this. It's got the notes I enjoy from the extra long cut natural. And, but it's got that little bourbony whiskey undertone that kind of gives it that little extra bit of hmm. not bad not bad at all well done copenhagen well done and of course it's 100 percent u.s tobacco on the back yep 100 percent Very good. Yeah. <laughs> the weather changed again. Pouring down rain most of the day. Now the sun's clouds parting up now in the afternoon. And now the sun is coming through. Welcome to Oregon. Especially when you live this close to the coast. As the bird flies, I'm less than 15 miles from the coast. Driving 
but it takes you a bit longer because the narrow windy roads. Yeah, this is juicing up really good. And every, every time I kind of give it a squeeze and stuff, getting that salt, getting that natural dark fired tobacco with just that underlying bourbon-esque flavor that's in there. It's not overpowering the tobacco at all. It's, they added just enough to give you the notes of it, but not enough to blast you and overpower the tobacco. It's nice. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Must say, I like this one. Yep, this can's not long for this world. It's holding together nicely. Most Copenhagen products, they hold together pretty good. I did pretty uh, larger than average pinch for me in. So I got it. A little bit of it here and I kind of got it trailing up the map the main mass of it's right over here now but I got a good <clears throat> nice good wad of it in there give me some good flavor a little bit of tingle let me know there's some nicotine there and it's not coming across as an overpowering nicotine uh, probably mid strength which is fine for me I'm a nicotine lightweight, I admit it. I have no problem with that. But yeah, it's got the salt, it's got the natural dark fired tobacco, and just enough bourbon whiskey type note to make it interesting. Pretty good stuff. I'm glad this is coming out and that to be a permanent fixture instead of a seasonal release. Not necessarily seasonal, it was like once every two or three years they'd get a wild hair and release it. But yeah, if you have not tried this and you enjoy a good bourbon, um, give this a shot. And I used to drink quite a bit of bourbon when I was doing my cigars. Bourbon and a cigar is like, you know, peanut butter and jelly. And if you're not into bourbon, a good port wine with a medium to full bodied, bodied cigar is really good. It's a good after dinner pairing or sitting around the campfire. When I lived in Alaska, me and campfire nights were spent with my buddies. Cigars in either bourbon or port wine, sometimes both, depending on what you're in the mood for. Yeah, this is pretty good. Not bad at all. Spittoon's working pretty good too. Gotta like it. You got more of a more space to get a grip on, so it's definitely taller than the mud jug. But from the looks of it, the funnel goes down to probably about there. So, and all in all, actual spit space, it's on par with the mud jug. They just give you a steeper funnel. And I would say, looking at the hole, the mud jug has a slightly wider hole than this does for the, the funnel part down there. So... There you have it. You have a spit bud, you have a new hat, and a new chip or a new dip. What a way to end the day. I like it. But yeah. Copenhagen Black Long Cut. Mikey likes it. Definitely do. If you're a fan of the extra long cut natural and you enjoy a little bit of bourbonish notes, this is definitely worth checking out. Definitely worth checking out. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to keep this in for a while longer and get busy with my chores for the day. This is Mikey. This has been Copenhagen Black, their Wayman's Reserve. I just hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's written in cursive, so I can't tell. I'm assuming it's Wayman's Reserve. Might be Wayman. Wayman. 
If I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Y'all have a good time. Enjoy. I know I'm going to continue enjoying this for a while. I will catch you all next time. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Um, I keep pointing at the wrong corners. I keep pointing down here. I believe it's over there for the subscribe button. And Suit Tie Dip and Shoe Guy, I got a couple of his channel and a playlist to go along with this along the top. Y'all take care. This is Mikey. Catch you next time with a new chew or a dip or a snooze or a snot. We'll find out.